my name is Marge and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hello Fit Fam. How are you guys? I missed you. Okay, so today is a rest day and I just wanted to say I'm sorry, I know the angles weird really weird. It's because I have a tripod here, but my tripod's too big and I might need to um, buy the ones that you put on your table. So if ever I'm doing this and I'm doing this because I need to feed the kids. If you guys don't know, we have reptile kids and daddy went to work and I went to work. I just came home and now, you know, we need to feed them. So I'm trying to do this so that I don't um, upload this video too late. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I just wanted to say congratulations to each and every one of you guys. It's what? The end of the second week of a one mile a day challenge. Guys, we're halfway there, okay? Um, I don't know about you, but I've been seeing results on me. Like I'm losing weight. So, especially in the, my back area. So, I mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty awesome. It's only a mile a day. Okay, and um, I hope that you guys are really running um, within this week. So, if you guys saw the video that I uploaded last week, the first, the rest day for the first week was what meditation, right? So now I wanted to do some stretching because you can alternate. Um, the rest days from meditation, stretching. You can also even use that in like the middle of the week. If you just are really struggling and like your hamstrings are so tight and um, you guys feel like you're, you really need that more of a, like that recovery, then you do stretching. If you're having a bad day, like the other time that I checked in with you guys, I was really having a bad day and I was struggling, but it became a good day because when I got home after the gym, I checked, because I'm incubating eggs, and the two eggs that I'm incubating, which are crested geckos, they hatch. So that made my day, and after that, I couldn't even feel how bad I felt. It's like being a mommy again. Um, so, with that said, yeah, this is kind of weird. With that said, um, I just wanted you guys to have another option of doing uh, a rest day. And I told you, even on rest days, we do something, okay? So today is rest day and congratulations, guys. You did 12 miles in two weeks. Can you even imagine doing 12 miles in a month? No, right? And plus, when you're, you know, people tell me, oh, I do that at work. Are you losing weight at work? No, because your body got used to it, right? So our body plateaus to do something for you. And plus, the one mile a day challenge, this is your time for yourself. So might as well get it, right? All right, so I'm feeding the animals. <laughs> and bear with me, okay? So um, I just wanna do a shout out to A Paradise. A Paradise, which is Arlene. Hi, Arlene. You are very consistent with um, doing the one mile a day challenge, okay? And um, checking in on, checking in with me as well. Um, that's pretty good. And so, uh, thank you for doing that. Um, I have now Laura, Eddie, Arlene. I don't know if Sarah is doing it because it's Sarah and Eileen in your YouTube channel, so I'm not sure if she's doing it, but I'm counting uh, Arlene, which is A Paradise, Laura, and Eddie, and um, Aros Tigger, right? Is that how you say it? A Aros Tigger, Aros Tiger, that, uh, yeah, gentle, the gentleman, so there's four, and I have another one, um, A Cross, Me Cross, um, so there's five people doing this challenge. Um, if I don't know that you're doing this challenge, it just means that you never messaged me or DM'd me. And I really don't know if you're doing this because we have, ooh, so healthy. <laughs> because we have um, 
people who just, you know, maybe I might, I might do it. There's no I might, it's doing it, okay? Um, it's just to encourage you to like, get out of that mindset of like, oh, I might do it. No, do it, girl, or do it, guy, or do it, sir. You know, you, you have to just do it. Um, yeah, and so that's it. Um, so for today's challenge, uh, for today's challenge, for today's rest day is we're going to start stretching, okay? So let me feed the animals and we'll get to it, okay? I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so I'm back. I'm back. So I just finished feeding all of them. And Red almost ate all his um, worms, so that's good. Okay, so with this one, I'm just gonna kneel for now. Okay, so with this one, you can, um, we're gonna do stretching, okay? So you guys can do this in the comfort of your home, just like mine, this is the comfort of my home. Or you can do it outside, or you can do it at the gym. It's really up to you, okay? But when you start running almost a mile a day, or even running uh, three miles uh, every, every other day, it, takes a toll out of your leg. So I just wanted to show you guys how I stretch for my leg, okay? Now, what is so good about stretching? So what's good about stretching is it, what are you doing, Green? It, um, it relieves your pain. Well, it's painful when you have tear in your muscle, which is, you know, when you work out, you actually tear your muscles. So it's ours to like, just stretch them a little bit more so that you can be more comfortable in moving, okay? Second, um, your agility, you being, you know, being able to stretch or bend in certain ways, um, it actually makes you more flexible, okay? So, oh, yeah, flexibility. So that um, you work on that as well, okay? So I'm gonna just show you guys, and this is how I recover my my muscles. Like every time I used to work out before, uh, I'm always in pain in the morning. Even if you know the recovery drinks help a little bit, you're still a little bit in pain. And so I use stretching to lessen those pains, okay? So that I can go back to working out again. Um, especially when you're doing legs. For me, hamstrings are the ones that are very like, oh, it can kill me. I can't even sit properly. I can't even, you know, um, drive properly. So I like doing um, hamstring stretches, stretches as well. But today, because we're doing this one mile a day challenge, I'm going to show you guys how to stretch your legs, okay? So I'm gonna stand up now. <laughs> You're gonna see, ooh, Greeny, relax. Sorry for the um, the noise because Greeny is super active. Like he just finished all his food. Baby, go eat your food, okay? So yeah, those are my babies. <laughs> now, I want you guys to see how we do this. Hold on, let me just, all right, here. Okay, so the very first thing that I do is I go down on the floor, okay? I sit, make sure you're comfortable, and I do a little, see right here, it's just a little bend on my, on my, on my knee, and I start just touching my toes. That one first, just to stretch my lower back as well. Okay, so touching my toes, and then, when you're ready, you're going to straighten your legs and touch your, your toes. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are doing this like, oh, I can't. In time, when you do it and you do practice, you're gonna be able to touch your toes, okay? But don't force yourself. Fight for the inch. So for first, if you guys can't do it, you can touch your ankles or you can touch your shin right here or you can touch your ankles, okay? And then through time, you can touch your toes, okay? 
So keep it there. Okay, so let's do the ankles first. And then you can keep your toes. Now this stretch, you can feel it underneath your legs. And stay there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And release. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is stretch one leg and bend the other towards your inner, inner thigh. Okay, so you're gonna look like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch from the side and touch my toe here. Same thing, if you guys don't have that, you're not that flexible, you can touch your hin, hin, uh, shin right here, your ankle, and then if, in time, then you can touch your toe, okay? So stretch it like this. Hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna do the other side. Same thing, you can touch your shin, you can touch your ankle, or you can touch your toe. But the stretch is supposed to be on the side and you can feel this underneath your thigh. If you're not feeling it underneath your thigh, you're doing it wrong, okay? So it has to be underneath your thigh. This one is um, your hamstrings. So we stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now that is kind of like a warm up for me. And then I put my legs all the way up, all the way straight from both directions, okay? So I'm gonna do it like this. Now it's a little split, but don't you worry. Same thing, you can touch your shin or you can touch your ankles. Okay. Or when you're very flexible already, you can put your elbow in the middle. Okay. Now this, the stretch of this one is really in um in your hamstring at the back of your thigh. Okay. Right here, I can do the stretch already just doing this. Sometimes when when you have your legs like this, it stretches it out already. You can feel it. But sometimes you just want to wiggle like this and it'll stretch. Or you can try just bending a little forward. Don't forget to arch your back, uh, to make your back straight. Don't arch it. Make it straight. The pressure is supposed to be in the middle, right here. And press down, forward, okay? So you can do it like this. Okay, shin. But keep that, feel the stretch from here. Or you can go to your elbows, okay? And we're gonna stay here. You don't have to do this. Like I said, you can do it here, but I'm gonna do it like this. So, we're gonna stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect, and roll back up, okay? So now I want to go and take it on top. So I'm going to stand up straight. Okay. Now what I do with this is I kind of bend my knee, make sure I hold the, the floor and it kind of bounce up and down. And stretch everything, especially here. Ooh, daddy's hold and down. Yeah. He was so hungry. He ate, look, there's a little bit more. 
are genuinely funny. Okay, so when you're doing this at home, you gotta make sure that you have space to do it, okay? So in time, you want to work your way to this.
two more. Your baby coming. And one more. And walk up. Now I'm gonna go back to the floor. Same thing. I'm gonna put my foot together like this and just start moving my knees up and down so I can get that extra stretch. And do this eight seconds. Eight, don't forget to breathe. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. my stretch for my legs. If you guys have any other suggestions on how to stretch it, go and comment below or, or send me a DM and send me a video of it. If you want, you can do it in, in the next um, rest day. Okay? So, that is it. I hope you guys like this video. And like I said, congratulations to everybody who did the two weeks of a one mile challenge and I'll see you guys soon don't forget to like and subscribe turn on your notification so that you can see the next video coming up okay bye guys and have a good night <laughs>